Okay, so what are we doing next? I got 2.6 million. Ah, uh, jeez. Unfortunately, this is kind of one of those where I'm like... <laughs> looking at it, I'm like, uh, what else... What else could I do? Do I want to do? But I don't have much. Uh, we could switch over to, like, uh... Kuva farming if we want to do that. You're up over 5 mil. Yeah. I... Jeez, I need... I need, like, 8 mil or something like that. Down for Kuva. Okay, yeah, let's let's do some Kuva farming. Let's see. Wonder have you ever thought of playing EVE Online? Um... I thought of EVE Online. EVE Online is kind of interesting, but I'm not... I'm not sure if I'll ever have the, uh... the time or the interest in playing it. I'd actually... I, I know it's an inferior product. Where is the, um... Oh, there's the Kufa Fortress. Which one is it? Uh, Teva Uni? Oh. This is really good EXP. Um... I'm gonna clear my vote for a second. Um... I'm probably just gonna run around, uh, macing things to death. But yeah, I know, I know, uh... That's the other thing. I need to get a... Uh, resource booster. Do we just go 3-day? Or 40, or 30... Probably just go three day. Maybe? Sorry, I, I'm getting distracted here. Let's get the 30. I'm probably going to be playing uh, Warframe a bunch this month. We might as well make the most of it. Okay, Um. so I know... Uh, it's not Horizon Zero Dawn. It's uh, Elite Dangerous is kind of the inferior product. Let's see. Does this Kufa farming work? Do we need Necros? Uh, no. I don't think we need Necros. This is... You get paid based on, like, um... Time that you're there. I believe. Iro, you should probably chime in, because I'd totally forget. Um... Oh, for life support. That's a good point. Should I bring, uh... No, I'll stick with Mesa. There's a lot of enemies. Um, anyway, so yeah, I know Elite Dangerous is kind of the inferior product, but it doesn't have a subscription fee. And I know uh, Elite... Uh, not Elite. I know EVE doesn't have it either, but EVE is kind of more focused on the PvP. Um, and the, like, spreadsheeting. And that's a bit tougher for me. Because realistically, like, both... Both are games that you have to sink a lot of time into. And... Like, I, I know for uh, EVE, it's like, you kind of go in, you go out. Uh, you play for like a little bit, you set everything up, and then you go away for a while. And that's really difficult for me, because I'm the kind of person that uh, that has to sit here and play it for hours on end. And it's, it's tough uh, to do that for like a stream and stuff. And I'm sure there's some EVE streamers that would be able to pull it off. Uh, but for one, as a streamer, that op opens me up for people to, like, hunt me down and kill me, which is always kind of inconvenient. Um, but do, like, I can't imagine I'd be able to keep EVE Online particularly entertaining for hours on end. Uh, without just, like, sitting around and just chatting about stuff. So maybe if I played EVE Online with, like, some friends, I could be down with that. But the problem is, like, my current, like, friend group is very much, like... We are very well suited for, uh, for playing, like, kind of short, quick, easy to beat, easy to pick up, easy to put down indie games. Uh, survival sandbox, sandbox in general, stuff like that. It's a lot harder with, uh... It's a lot harder with, like, uh, something like EVE, because you have to put time and effort into that. That's not something that you can just be like... Alright, so we're just going to play, like, an hour of EVE tomorrow. No, you have to play about seven hours of EVE to get anywhere. Probably. And so the reason why I'd be interested in Elite Dangerous is because it feels like I'd at least have a... Uh, a shot at kind of doing some stuff in a short period of time. But it's also one of those that, like... There's so many other games that I'd rather play. Because online-related online games generally always have kind of like a... 
I'm gonna call it a hard cap that like you can only progress so far so fast because otherwise everybody loses interest in the game. I mean, Warframe is a perfect example of that. Currently I'm farming Kuva so that I can finely tune a thing that I don't particularly need, but it's something for me to do at the end game. And so like, in a single player game, chances are you'd be able to just kind of do the finely, fine tuning fairly quickly and they just give you a bunch of it so that you're not bogged down in the uh, minutia of what you're doing. Whereas in Warframe, this is the game. There's not enough, you know, solo content and whatever to really justify giving you free reign um, in the same manner. And that's fine, but... Um, but it's, it's why, like, I can generally only devote myself to, like, a game or two. And it's easy with Warframe because, one, they've given me a bunch of stuff. Uh, and two, I've already gotten this far. Whereas, like, for a lot of other games, it's like, yeah, I could, um... I, I could get lost in this and never get anywhere. And that would be rough. That's why I try to stay away from most of their online games. This one's easy because I can just kind of pick it up and put it down. And it's like, oh, well, you know, I've I've got uh, other games to play. All right, I'll just be back to Warframe in like, you know, a couple of months. There's like Elite Dangerous, I feel like. I'd, I could probably do the same thing, but it would be less satisfying. You heard about the game Dust 514 and it was shut down. Oh, yeah. Uh, the kind of okay... Was it a first-person shooter or a third-person shooter? I think on the PS3? It was an interesting idea. The problem is, like, they should have made it a PC-related game. They should never have made it a console game. See, Planet Side 2 is amazing. Is it? Uh, so I played Planet Side 2 for, like... I want to say like 5-10 hours, and I found myself kind of bored by it. Like there's, there's, Planet Side 2 conceptually is amazing. Functionally, it's a mess. Um, like, I hate to point people at other YouTubers, but Mandalore Gaming's review I think was fairly, fairly accurate. I just didn't know what was going on, and it didn't perform well enough to, like, really catch my attention for too long. And also, like, a game with that heavy of microtransactions is tough. I say as I play Warframe, but, I, like, I've always felt like Warframe's microtransactions are very much just like a, well, you could pay money for this, and then you say, like, why, well, why would you? Whereas, like, Planet Side, it felt like, well, you should pay for this, because otherwise it's hell. But I guess your mileage may vary. I think if you had, like, a large group, it'd be fine. I also just don't trust their publisher. Like, the people that are currently in charge of, uh... Like, Daybreak Entertainment gives me the... Gives me the willies. Like, they're one of those developers that you look at and you're like... I don't think they're really here to make a fun game anymore. I feel like they're here to stuff that wallet as, as, as much as you can. The Warframe is pay to skip. Yep. And I like that, because it doesn't make me feel like I'm pushed into spending anything more than I want to. Though I do. I, I have paid not an insubstantial amount into this game. But I'm going to have to pay for a game at some point. I might as well pay for the one I like. There's a lot of really trash games out there. Ow. I keep forgetting to use my defensive move. I might be too far away from you guys. No, you might be, you might get to me. Nope, <sighs> super close though. Not a big deal, I'll try and keep closer to you and also keep my shields up. I was just shooting things for the fun of it. Like a dunce. Always prefer pay to skin over pay to win. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. 
I'm trying to think of other games that have had particularly good cash shop systems. Guild Wars kind of did. My problem is I just don't enjoy playing Guild Wars that much. Like, Warframe, I could do the same mission over and over and over again and generally not get too bored by it. I never really felt felt that way with, um... I never really felt that way with Guild Wars. Maybe part of it is because uh, the presentation in, in Guild Wars was kind of really frustrating. Generally, it's rare that you ever lose a mission in Warframe. And when you do, it's because you really messed up. Oh. Okay, no, we're good. Whereas, uh... When I was playing Guild Wars, I, I played it when it first came out, and it wasn't bad. But it was very much like a, hey, do you want this really fancy suit of armor? Well, you have to run this one dungeon 30-something times. And I'm like, holy, no. And then Shell was like, we need to. That's where I can get the armor set I want. And I'm like, oh, okay. And we did, and I mean it wasn't that bad, but it was it was still just like seriously? Like, your game is that strapped for content that you have to make somebody farm your dungeon 30 times to get the full set? I didn't have to do that in World of Warcraft. Freaking I got the uh I could get legendary weapons in uh less time than that. Back when I played like other games, and that was that was tough. Like, I don't I don't have time or interest for that, which sucks. And so, like, yeah, if Guild Wars 2 was the only game I played, I don't think I'd mind it so much. But I've got so many other games to play, it's like, eh. I think that's kind of part of the reason why my, like, um, interest in online games is generally pretty low. I play every game under the sun, because that's that's my job. Whereas, like, you know, for a lot of people, uh, for a lot of people, you probably only buy... Oh, come on! I just shielded myself. Unfortunately, I did not actually bring any of my good guns. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I assume most of you guys only buy a couple of games... Per day, not per, per day, ah, um, per year. Uh, you can even check that now, by the way. Uh, like, if you go into your, like, Steam page, help, and then, like, uh, like, account data or something like that, you can actually, uh, you can actually look up how much money have you, you've sunk into your, uh, your Steam account, uh, which I think is kind of really cool. And also kind of horrifying, because I've sunk about $9,000 into my Steam account so far. And, uh, well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm, I'm not even 30 yet. I'm gonna waste a ton of money on this. Yeah, 9000 That's what it said. I, I was actually comparing notes with some other people, and, I mean, it looks like, uh, it's not uncommon to spend more than that. There were some other uh, people that had kind of skewed results because Humble Bundle and whatnot. But, yeah, for me, I've I've dropped a lot of uh, money into this. But yeah, so most people will probably only get the games that actually interested them. Because, like, you don't really want to pay 60 bucks for a game that you're only mildly interested in. For me, I do. Because uh, if I if I do, you know, get the, uh, get the thing that I'm only mildly interested in, it's... I mean, it has the potential for being something really cool that I want to play, uh, and or a series that will do really well. So, oh, what's a good example? Digimon. I picked freaking Digimon up, uh, Cyber Sleuth up, on a whim, and I was like, I'll just cover this. I like I like Digimon games, and I don't know if this is going to be any good. And it was okay, passable at best, but uh, I I bought it, and it turned out to actually be like a really big series for me at the time. Most people probably wouldn't do that, you know, it's like, okay, 60 bucks is like, that's, you know, that that's going to eat into some of my budget unless you're, like, really pulling in uh, big bucks from wherever you work. Ow. Ow. And so, like, games like uh, Warframe or World of Warcraft or Guild Wars or whatever, or Elite Dangerous or 
I mean, I get, the list goes on and on, ESO. All of those are games that work really, really well if you only, you know, play a couple of, uh, couple of games a year. Or month or whatever. Whereas for me, they're like albatrosses. This is, this is the series that will never die on my channel. And, you know, I've kind of come to accept that, and luckily it's done really well for me. Uh, but, like, I've tried to kind of do the same thing with other series, and it's like, eh, not so much, though. I don't even understand this section of the map. Oh, this is yours. Easy to get confused. Love Digimon, still wouldn't buy their games. Uh, let's see. I rather liked uh, World Next Order. Actually, uh, oh shoot. They didn't announce it at, uh... They didn't announce anything at, uh, at E3, which kind of had me disappointed. Because they actually have some neat looking games that are on the way, uh, that I got to see. And can't say any more about them, but... Like, I, I got to see what the future of Digimon games look like, and it... It's like, well, they, I, they're learning. They're 100% learning. They look nice. Or at least nicer. They're making the switch from um, from PlayStation Vita as kind of their, their main platform to... I don't even know if they are going to be doing anything on the Vita. Now that I'm thinking about it. Like, I, th I think it's just PS4 only from now on and possibly Xbox. And, like, for me, that's kind of cool. I don't know. Ultimately, though, indie games are where it's at. I, I had a dream yesterday. Satisfactory came out as a surprise. That they just were like, okay, it's done, here you go. And it's like, what? Yes? And, like, for whatever reason, we had, like, some uber session of it. Um, and then Shell was playing with us, and I realized it was it was just a dream. There's no way she'd play Factorio with us, and that's okay. But like, oh, I'm looking forward to that game whenever it comes out. Do we want to book it at 15? Ow, that hurt. Because yeah, it seems like we're starting to get down pretty pretty often. Uh, I'm stuck. Oh, I see. He knocked me over while I was in uh, shooty shoot mode. Ow, ow. What am I? Oh. Not even... This corridor just sucks here. Oh, these guys these guys are starting to hurt real bad. We can get out of here in a second. Huh. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I should probably have enough money I'll probably farm the index a little bit more, maybe tomorrow or something, uh, if you guys want to help me. But I should probably actually have enough money fairly soon to get those legendary cores. Uh... And then I can work on getting the Umbra stuff. I'd really like to try Inaros in these runs. See how he, uh... Well, I mean, I guess he, it wouldn't even, like, be necessarily Inaros. Just, uh, I want to see how much HP you can get on Inneros. Alright, let's get out of here, because I think this is kicking our ass seven ways to Tuesday. Uh, how the hell do we leave? Okay, it's this way. Yeah, we'll say for Digimon games and pretty much anything, uh... Wait for people like me, suckers like me, to pick up the game first. Uh, 
the only people that should ever pre-order a game are the people that are trying to get out, uh, like, get coverage of the game early. I would never recommend, uh, you know, pre-ordering a game if you're just, like, a random, um, if you're just a random consumer. Because there's almost no benefit for it. The only, like, uh, the only things I can specifically think of are, like, uh, pre-order bonuses, but they're, they're not worth it. They generally have never been worth it. There's, like, a couple of games where the pre-order bonuses are kind of sweet. But, like, uh... Uh, had the pre-order pack for uh, Vampire, and it just wasn't, it wasn't anything, it was just like, okay, it's a good sword, and like, a, a coat, which actually is great, like, I'm, I'm glad that was the, uh, that was the pre-order thing, because I absolutely hate it when the pre-order is like, here's an actually, like, important DLC, and it's like, uh, don't do that. Hey, maxed out my guns. Well, except for the Bolto. Whatever. Did not get as much endo as I wanted. Lot of neural sensors. Holy shit. If I hit 200,000 yet. It's kind of one of the reasons why I'm... Oh, whoa! Hi! Okay. I say, have I hit 200,000 yet? And, okay, so the dashboard is lying to me. One of the dashboards is lying to me. I can see it on my phone as 200,000, but my YouTube dashboard says 199,993. Oh, that's close enough. Slow cooked water stream. Nah, tomorrow I'm gonna make t-shirts. Uh, if people care about that. I don't know. I've been... I've been really wanting to make, like, merch. And, like, it feels weird to celebrate my, uh... Hitting 200,000 by, like, selling shit. But at the same time, it's like... People have been asking for a while. And I would actually really like to have, like, a... A shirt or something to... Wear of my own. Like, especially if, I, if I'm going to PAX, I want to have, like, a, a Wanderbot shirt on. Because that'd be cool. I have hiccups. It's kind of annoying, actually. Let's see. Now we're done with the Destreza. What else do we have? Okay, I got the Ankyrios. Work on those. Oh, that bolt tool is yours. It's on the ground for most of that run. Oh, I didn't even notice anybody took it from me. <laughs> I was not paying attention or caring that much. Let's see. Did I try anybody else for this? I don't really know. You know what? Uh, let's see. Equipment. Arsenal. Maybe instead of the Lanka, let's let's actually just throw in my um throw in my Astala. I gotta get a good ribbon for that. Let's play Nidus. Otherwise, I could look at... Let's look at Ineros. Maybe not, actually. No, 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 no. I could do Limbo. I'm also, like, ridiculously tired. Your 200,000 refresh your YouTube page to check. Yeah, it's kind of scaling up there. Unfortunately, I almost wish it would just round or something. To chat. Oh well, yeah. So it says it says different sub counts on literally every uh, every site of mine. Eh, whatever. I guess I might as well screenshot that. Three subs too late. I guess I should have checked my main page earlier. Yay! That's cool. I don't know. You only ever hit uh, 200,000 once. Oh, posted pick in Discord. Sweet. Yeah, I always like it if it's on the dot. But it doesn't matter that much. See, so, yeah, a Wanderbot and Shellbot shirt sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I, uh, it's actually, I'm probably going to make multiple. I, I think I might even go, um, go sketch some up, honestly. Uh, after I'm done streaming. 
Uh, which I think might actually just be immediately after this. My voice, I'm starting to strain it a little bit. And that's not great. Because I want, I want to have it for tomorrow. Um, I guess we can go do like a sneak peek. I guess we're talking about it. I don't know if this is going to be the final design. I'm going to try and sketch up more. Um, I'm probably going to do something with the helmet. But like I've been stuck on that for ages. Which is part of the reason why I've never done anything. Um, related to it. Pull this up. Yeah, for those of you uh, wanting more Warframe, I'm sorry, I'm 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 petering out. Did Bird randomly pop into Teamspeak? No, no, it was the Slow Force trailer, which uh, auto plays whenever I go to my own channel, which is stupid. Hey, thanks for the bits, Crystal. On. All right. Um, but I was actually considering going for something a little bit more abstracty for like the first shirt design. Um, which has, like, kind of the visor look, but something a little bit more, like, geometric. Uh, using, like, the circles and whatnot. Um. And this way I could put it on a shirt, and it would look cool, and it wouldn't just be, be like, the Waterbot face icon. Because something about that feels a little bit too self-aggrandizing. Um, and I'll inevitably end up with a shirt like that. I was just trying to come up with something, uh, more interesting than what I had. Um, but this I could also put on like a, a, a business card. Because I don't have business cards, and I need business cards for, I don't know, handing out to developers, people that ask. It just feels weird to be effectively like a, a one-man business and not have business cards. 